Hey, how's it going? So in the last video, I showed you the crabbit. So let's get on to the compound grind. Roll intro. So we're back. Right off the surface grinder. If you want to see how I did the surface grinding and all that, you'll have to check out my last video. I'll put it up here. Because I'm doing the karambit flat grind and this compound grind in two videos. Splitting them up so everything goes better. Now check this out. Here's exactly what I was talking about. I don't know if you can see that. Since I had to surface grind one side more, instead of the center line being in center, now it's almost right here. In fact, we almost ran out of room. And I have to take a bunch off of this side. But we should be fine. I'll just have to make sure. So yeah, this is right down on the line. And this side has about a 16th to go. And that's all the way up. So that's what I'm talking about. Leaving your center line thick. Or you're going to have to make it smaller and smaller. To compensate for that center line. Alright, to the grinder. I've learned with compound grinds. It's best just to do the flats. Get them all the way up to like 100, 20, 200, wherever you're going with the flats, and then come back and do the compound. I used to go back and forth, but it's counterproductive. You gotta just do one, and then come back and do the other. Maybe try, if you know, for yourself to do this first and then do the flats, but for me, it's easier to do the flats and then come back and do that. All right, here we go. All right, side one is done. Let me put some oil on it so it doesn't get all rusty as I'm doing the other side. So I want to show you something. In the last video, I showed you how it turned bronze. Now look, over here, it's perfectly white. After I grind it, I guess it's getting so hot because I'm wetting it down here, it's bringing the temper up. See, this wasn't that bronze color before. Now it is. <laughs> all right, let's get this side done and then... We'll bring this over. I only got a little bit here. We're basically on the line, so. All right, you can see here it's almost done, but I got that little divot to bring down. So I'm just going to work it back and forth right in this spot, just lightly touching it till it's all smooth. Putting just a little bit of pressure. I'm not going to grind into it because then it'll, but basically this is a low spot so I got to bring everything else down to that spot. Yeah, see, it's slowly coming down, so we're just going to keep at it. And see, they're almost exact. Once we grind this in, you can see how it's flat right here, and then it comes out. Because remember how I hit the middle? If you watch, if you watch it where I did the original, I went over the line a little bit. So that's why it's even right here, and then it splits out. And now see all we got that little spot right there and then we're done. So we'll just slowly bring it in. One stroke at a time. There we go. Alright, let me get the one inch wheel and we'll get this taken care of and then we're done. Well, I'm going to try this. This belt went all wonky on me when I tried to cut it. But, let's see how it does. Alright, I went up to the A30 Trizac. So, let's see what this does.
Alright, side one is laid in. Let me go cut another belt for side two. Oh, that one was much better. <laughs> it went off a little bit, but at least one side came out perfect. Nice and straight on this one, so let's get side two done. We don't have much to do on this side, so. Alright, now when I used to do horse, uh, hollow grinds, I thought I was only confined to here. But the trick is, you kind of pull back. You don't want to pull back too far and, and hit over, but you have to kind of let the front glide and pull back. And then you'll hit up here, see how it's still got move? We're getting there. So I think that's about it. I'll come back and finish this, put like a 120, a 220, and we'll see where we go. But man, I'm wore out for now. Plus I got some editing for these videos to do. <laughs> hey, how's it going? So I was just editing and I realized if I show the recurve, it's just gonna be the same stuff repetitive going up, belt to belt to belt. So I thought I'd put in some footage of what I'm gonna do for the next heat treat. All right. Roll footage. All right, so some bonus footage to go with this compound grind stuff. So I figured I'd cut out a few of these. As you can see, my printer started messing up. So I'm just gonna cut one out. I think this one looks the best, but I'm gonna cut it big and grind it down and then we'll use that as a pattern and cut four more out. Now I'll just put them all in the same bag when heat treating. All right, here we go. That's a rough cut. It actually feels pretty good. You know, I left it big so I can put it on the grinder and get it to fit. You know, so it fits pretty good, but yeah, that locks right into your hand. Then you can push it. I'm gonna have to dull this down so it's not digging into my finger like that or into your finger. But yeah, that should be nice. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna bring this down, the whole flat down a little bit and then pretty much have it like a chisel grind 
but I'm gonna take some of the part off one of these, so. All right, let's go to the horizontal grinder and fix this up and see what it looks like. Look at that, it already bit me too. <laughs> Well, I just messed that one up. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to find that even my smallest thing didn't work. It cut in, so. I like the design and it fits good in my hand. But, I'm going to have to figure out something new. I'm going to have to probably mill it then. Because, yeah. See, I took off that. But I do like that size. And I still got to take off back here, but. All right, let me draw up and cut out another one and we'll redo this. <laughs> so I moved this back a little bit. I'm just gonna have to mill it out. So let's just get all the rest of this. I'm gonna do this with my little wheel like I did and then we'll put the bigger wheel on and do the rest of it. Time lapse time. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to take a round file for the rest, but other than that, we're pretty good. I've never tried uh, CPM 3V, so I got some, and yeah, I'm surprised how easy it actually cuts. It's cut right out. I think I might use one of these big end mills to get this all straight. If it it's in perfect, I'll just shave off a little bit. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, man. Check it out. Nice and smoothed out. Don't have to pull out the files. <laughs> yeah, man. Three more to go. <laughs> all right. I think I'm calling it a night. 5 a.m. Got the jimping all in. Nice and even. Looking good. Holes all drilled. Ready to go. The 3B. All these little guys. The AEBL are drilled and ready to go. Yeah, man. I don't know if I'm going to do the bevels before or after on this 3B. Probably, I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. Yeah, man. <laughs> all right. Well, hope you enjoyed all that. The next video is probably going to be the heat treating of the AEBL and the CPM 3V. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching. Remember, affiliate links are down below. All the tools I use for making knives are down there and the cameras, action cams, all that stuff. Shirts are available and also knives are up on my website. All the links are down below. Thanks again. Really appreciate the support. Let's get to that thousand subs so we can give that knife away. Hope you all having a great day and as always, take it easy.